What's up guys? It's me again, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 4.14 of your textbook, Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, when you polarize a neutral dielectric, the charge moves a bit, but the total remains zero. This fact should be reflected in the bound charges sigma b and rho b. Prove that equations 4.11 and 4.12 that the total bound charge vanishes. Okay? So, so imagine you have your um, charge configuration. So you know that this charge config, uh, this uh, neutral dielectric, sorry, is when you polarize this, there will be bound charges at the surface and within the volume okay so we know that the total charge okay for this configuration is the total charge on the surface plus the total charge within the volume okay so this total charge is defined by the following expression the total charge on the surface will be the the integral of the charge density that is bound times your area vector because we're looking at the total volume so the surface bounded by the volume of uh, the surface that bounds the volume this will be a closed integral. And this should be added to the total charge within the volume. So this is equal to the integral of the bound charges within the volume times your volume element. So again, this integral is about the surface is uh, uh, is within the surface, and this integral is within the volume. Okay, so using our definition of bound charges, so remember that the bound charge, sigma b, is equal to the dot product between the polarization and the area vector. So in other words, if this is the polarization, and I say this polarization pierces here, this is your area element this is your uh, air, uh, direction of the area vector that is normal to the surface okay the other hand the volume the, bo the bound charge within the volume is just the negative divergence of the polarization okay so using this we now have the following. So the total charge will now be equal to the integral, the close integral of P dot n hat dA plus the integral of uh, negative divergence of P Theta. Okay, so we simplify this by so by doing this. So this is the closed integral of p dot n hat dA. So you know that n hat dA is just your area vector uh, element area vector. So this is p dot dA area, and this is uh, minus the divergence. Integral of the divergence of P d tau. So, if we're going to recall in our first uh, few discussions before that the divergence theorem relates the uh, relates integration within uh, on the area that bounds a volume. To the divergence of the uh, interior of the divergence within the volume the vector field 
So, in the equation form, this is uh, a dot dA equals the divergence of the area vector, the, sorry, the uh, vector A, vector field A, theta. So, applying this here, so we can see that the integral of p dot dA, this one, is actually equal to the divergence, integral of the divergence of p theta. So this is equal to this. So this is minus. So therefore, this is equal to 0. Okay. So this solves uh, our, our problem wherein even if in a polarized neutral dielectric where the charges move due to the polarization or by virtue of the polarization, the total charge within that material will remain zero. Okay? So this ends our short discussion on problem 4.14. So I hope you learned something here and thank you for watching. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.